Clicking the wave start arrows nudges the waveform left or right. This is sometimes known as slip editing. Currently this does nothing as the whole eight bars of the wave is showing. Consequently there's nowhere for the audio to nudge to. This situation changes as soon as I shorten the object. Here's an example. Change the object start length by clicking on the object length right arrow. Also the object end length by clicking the left arrow. The overall object length is now two bars shorter. However, the length of the original wave within remains at eight bars. The difference is visual because I have resized the object. This is the basis of virtual editing. Although an object can be resized, the original audio is never changed, just hidden. In this case, two bars worth. This means that now when I click the wave start arrows, it's possible to nudge the waveform left or right by a total of two bars. Keep in mind that when a waveform has been nudged in this way, if the object is then resized to its original length, the start position of the object will have changed as well to accommodate the new wave position. In this case, the audio has been nudged two bars to the right. Now when I resize the object, the total object length has shifted to the right by that amount. I'll move it back to its original position. Here's another example of the virtual editing possibilities. If I split the object twice to make three virtual audio objects. Now if I select the middle object, I can nudge the waveform back and forth using the wave start arrows. This creates an offset of that particular audio clip. Returning to the Nudge Steps box, use this for defining how fine or coarse you want to make these adjustments. Left clicking to the right of that box gives you a drop down menu where you can choose your Nudge format. As you can see there are all the possible formats that you should need. Regardless of what format you choose you will always find some handy presets at the bottom. Bars and beats, feet and frames, CD MSF, or you can input your own values. I'm using bars and beats for this tutorial. If I choose the finest preset resolution of 1 64th, you can see that comes out as 24. Following this logically means that 12 would be the equivalent of 1 128th note, and 6 the equivalent of 1 256th of a whole note. For an even finer resolution, you can always choose samples, and clicking on the list again gives you some presets at the bottom. Notice that when I choose a new format, the position and length columns also change to that format. You can also change the format by clicking to the right of any of the position length boxes. So that covers the position length section.